16 weeks until Chicago Marathon and this week is a deload week and today's long run is only 7k which is quite nice as you can see it's really nice sunny and getting quite warm already so it's quite nice to do a little bit of a shorter run so today I thought I'll just give you a bit of an update on how my training is going and just a little bit about everything else that's going um, during this marathon training block. As much as I want to say training's going well and everything's working out fine, um, unfortunately I don't feel like it is and I don't want to just pretend that oh yeah everything's okay and it's it's very good and yeah everything's like perfect but it's not. I just kind of feel like I've lost, I wouldn't say lost motivation because I don't usually rely on motivation for things like this because motivation only gets me so far and I feel like I kind of once you pass the motivation stage all you have to kind of rely on is um, being very diligent and being disciplined so I just feel like I've lost discipline um, during the last few weeks even though I was very excited to start training again for this next marathon but for some reason I've just been kind of really struggling to uh, keep up with all the things that I said I wanted to do for this next coming marathon. I'm still running three times a week um, because the running three times a week really works with like everything else like with work, working from home and then doing a long run on the weekend like it kind of all worked fine and it has been but when I said I wanted to add in um, to like my home workouts and a cross training session each week I've just really been struggling to do that bit I've been doing the workout once a week um, because of the pains I've had and I'm still seeing uh, my physiotherapist so I have to keep up with that ideally I need to do it twice a week but at the moment I've only been managing once a week and no cross training <laughs> since I said I will add that into my weekly routine I think it's a combination of a few reasons um, why I kind of feel the way I do. Um, I think one of them might be because it feels like the marathon is so far ahead and a long way away. So in my mind I kind of feel like, oh I still got loads of time, it'll be fine, a lot of time to train but that's not the goal I had when I started training for this marathon. I wanted to give myself more than enough time to prepare myself and my body to run that marathon and not get injured. And normally entering races keeps me motivated even though I said motivation only gets you so far but for me if I know I have a race coming um, I'm more likely to feel kind of um, happy to go out for a run and feel really up for it and do the training but now it's coming up to summer months there just aren't as many kind of races that I really want to enter or feel very excited about I'm doing a trail run next month but trail runs are a little bit different to like a road race but I still need to train for a trail run but it just mentally is quite different to how I would train for like a marathon or half marathon on the road or even a 10k kind of that isn't trail so instead I've been looking into future races even races into 2025 um, just to see what there is so I can keep my mind thinking I've got other races coming up and it's not just having a break and taking it easy for too long but once you start entering a few races you kind of realize how expensive running can be uh, some of them especially the long distances cost so much money and I can't just keep entering races because I haven't got the money to do it basically and also um, running gear is so expensive as well I just feel like I'm spending a lot of money just they're keeping up with running. I've mentioned in one of my previous videos that I got the Asics Nova Blast 3 um, because I thought maybe my shoes were getting a bit old that's why I was getting pain in my foot um, but it turns out those shoes are no good even though I've been running in the Asics Nova Blast 3 TR for a long time and done a lot of miles and they still feel good they're definitely getting old so it was such a shame the Nova Blast 3 just for some reason doesn't work for me I'm just in a lot of pain when I run in them so I, I now need to try and find some other shoes to replace the ones I'm wearing now and again everywhere I look they just cost a lot of money. <laughs> Let me know if you ever lose motivation or discipline um, during training and what you do or how you kind of get yourself back up into a routine and feel motivated to go out and run again. The other reason I've not been able to keep up with all the training that I wanted to do is also 
because I struggle mentally quite a lot. Um, there are times that are better and then other times that are worse. But recently, mentally, I've been struggling quite a lot, which is really affecting me physically. You know when people say your mind and body works as one? So if you are physically not right, it affects you mentally. And if you're mentally not right, it affects you physically. So it works both ways and it definitely is the case for me. So mentally, I've been struggling quite a lot, which has made me feel physically absolutely exhausted all the time. I don't sleep well which adds to it so I think that's why I've been struggling to keep up with the other workouts that I wanted to do for this marathon training. Then three and a half K I just turned around today I'm just doing a out and back nice and easy and sun shining so I'm happy as always. I made it sound like it was all negative but it's not. I'm still keeping up with running three times a week which is the bare minimum that I'll do every week. I won't do any less than that and I'm still doing the one workout a week so I'm still carrying on. I'm not, I haven't given up and just feel like I've failed already. So it's all not all negative, it's all going good and yeah still looking forward to the marathon. I also paced a 10k first time ever last Sunday at the Cheltenham Running Festival and I enjoyed it so much, it was so fun. If you haven't paced before, I would definitely recommend you try it out. Um, I felt like that day wasn't about me, so I went there and paced for other runners and a lot of them came up to me afterwards to thank me for pacing and some of them said it was their first 10k and some of them said they were coming back to running after other various reasons why they stopped running. So it was really nice and I felt like, oh, it wasn't about me, it was about others. And it's just a really nice feeling. So running's still positive. I'm still gonna keep doing it. Um, yeah, I just still love running. 7K long run done and I really enjoyed that. Um, it turned out to be not as hot as I thought it would be. So that was quite nice. It was a very pleasant run. Although I said I haven't got any races um, in the summer, but I do have another 10K that I'm going to pace. And I'm also doing the 15K trail run with Maverick uh, next month. So I need to find ways to train for that. Um, it's always been a bit of a struggle to kind of find um, kind of trail routes that I can do my training on and um, there's just none around here so I need to start training for that one. Like I said I'm still keeping up with the three runs a week um, and I will keep posting updates on my journey to running the Chicago Marathon. Um, I'll also do some other videos in between of other things that I want to share along the way. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the update. Um, it wasn't meant to be so negative but I kind of just wanted to be honest um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Uni. Um, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!